Hello everybody, Sean Fruin here. Today we're gonna look at if your volumes are correct in Revit. So if you're doing calculations or anything with the volumes in Revit, this is something you definitely want to pay attention to. So here we have some ceilings and we're gonna change the offset. And notice when we change them by nine feet, the volume doesn't change. But if we change it by down to seven feet, the volume does change. So why is this? Well, it's because of the limit offset. And this is something that can be kind of hard to see in Revit, so we're gonna go hop into Dynamo and kind of show you and illustrate how this parameter plays a part in the volume. So before we hop into Dynamo, I'm gonna go ahead and make this ceiling even a little bit odder by making it an angle. So another thing to mention here is when spaces are created, this limit offset parameter is always set at eight. So if you have ceilings higher than eight, then you definitely need to adjust the limit offset. And there we go, goofy ceiling. Who knows what the volume is? Definitely not base times height times width. And so here's the Dynamo script. So the green is the volume and the blue element in here is our ceiling heights. So notice as I play around with the ceiling heights, the volume moves. But as I move the offset, then you start to see this gap between the ceiling and the volume. That's the really important part. So seeing this on the side, you can see now that it's even picking up that angled ceiling kind of volume. So now you're for sure ready and would know that you'll get the right calculations for volume. So another interesting thing playing around here is, is let's put some holes in the ceiling or maybe put two ceilings and see what comes out of Revit and see what that volume is. Oh, I gotta go in here and turn off automatic. There we go. Now that ceiling height will go up to where I want it and not jump back down. All right, so let's hop back into Dynamo. And remember the green is the volume of the space and the blue is our ceilings. So as you can see with these two different ceilings, we got pretty weird geometry coming out. And the moral of the story is, pay attention to that limit offset parameter, it's important. 